So every year for Christmas, I usually make one big thing for my daughter. Like one year we repainted the kitchen. Um, we've made like all the bedding for a baby crib. Anyway, this year I'm trying to make something out of stuff I already have. And my idea is to make a bunch of dress ups. Um, she has been like just grabbing random pieces of fabric and scarves and like tying them around her and being like, I'm a princess. Um, so, I don't know, I have a couple ideas like making some aprons for like a bakery, she plays bakery a lot, superhero cape, maybe princess dress, um, wizard cape, stuff like that. And I'm excited and I'm like, first gonna just take stuff from my scraps and see what I can make out of that stuff. So this is her kitchen. Um, we found a kitchen last year just on Facebook Marketplace. It was all pink and painted it these colors. Um, and then I made all this felt food. Here's like Oh, I love, where is it? This bread is so cute. <laughs> and then fruits and vegetables, so she can play a bunch of different things. There's some pasta. Anyway, so that was one of the fun things. This was another thing. Um, I got this crib off of Facebook Marketplace and painted it, and then made this um, mattress and pillow and blanket and this bunny actually but this is um for her baby doll or any animals okay so i dumped out my scrap bin um i'm trying to see what pieces of fabric are big enough that i can actually make something a lot of these i've made just like different projects of um i had a friend give me a bunch of fabric and anyway, I think the first thing I'm going to make is an apron. Mommy. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I really like how these ones all look together. So I think I'm going to start with that. I really do have a lot of different fabrics to choose from for these aprons. I'm saying aprons plural because now I think I'm going to make more than one. I love this fabric so much. I think, and this is a really good size. I think I'm just gonna use this for the apron, cinch it up, maybe add some pockets. And this could be like the waistband, but I was thinking, what if I do something else for the waistband? Um, and just kind of mix these together, I think would be really fun. Okay, so I've chosen this one. I'm just gonna iron it out. I think I'm going to fold it and iron it for the edges. So I have ironed these and now I'm just going to sew it down, just the edges. Okay, so there we go, and now I'm going to do the hem. 
I decided to make some cute pockets out of this pink fabric. So I'm just deciding how big they should be. I've cut out the pockets and now I'm just trying to place them well and not cover up any unicorn's faces, hopefully. I'm now doing two rows of really long stitches that can cinch up really easily. Here's the waistband I'm cut out and pinned all the way on. Okay, I think this is like why I make things. Because <laughs> at the end I'm just like, I made it! It's so cute, I love it. I'm really excited. Um, I love this fabric so much and I feel like I could have used the scrap of this to maybe make like a dress or a shirt or skirt or something but with this scrap I feel like it being a dress up now is a really good use for it and it'll last a long time in our lives I think because she can wear this now or like as she grows into it um so yeah the waistband is cute and little pockets um and I actually made another one because <laughs> this was like really easy once I had done this one I was like I could make another one real fast and if she has like friends over or cousins or something they can uh, dress up honestly it'll probably be like me seeing if this fits me <laughs> wearing it but this one's so cute and this was like they're a little bit different proportions because it's just the size of the scrap that I had um, but I think it'll fit her real cute and she could play like bakery or tea party with it. So anyway, cute, fun, beginning of her dress ups for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video, my TV show of me making stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, one more thing I wanted to say in this video. Um, one of my favorite things about using things for my scraps is that every fabric I've used for a different project. And so I'm hoping at the end of life, I guess, like I'll have all these like fabrics that uh, match each other in my life. It's kind of like, it's been really fun because my daughter will point out like, oh, like, the fabric you use for my cat is also the fabric that's on my quilt or like, I don't know. It's just, I love reusing fabric. So I just want to show you what I've used this stuff before. So this um, waistband I had originally purchased for the binding for this quilt that I made for my baby boy. It's really, really cute fabric. Um, it all started with it's kind of like camping fabric and it's sort of like camping adventure, uh, national park type camping theme. And I also made him a matching fox <laughs> in that same um, fabric. So that's kind of where that fabric comes from. And then the unicorn fabric, I already showed it on the uh, bedding I made for the baby doll crib. And I also made a dress for her out of this. I think I, whenever I do a project, I tend to like over buy fabric but then I like use it on other things and I never know how much to buy so I think I usually buy like too much but um and then this fabric is really special to me <laughs> this fabric I made a little dress for my daughter when I was pregnant with her out of and I'll show a picture of her wearing it I've still got quite a lot of this pink fabric left I've kind of been like waiting to use it for something special I think I might try to make a dress out of it but anyway I just wanted to share that like I love reusing fabric in different projects and it ends up um I loved I don't know just being able to like reuse a fabric that I love over and over again anyway now you may share comment subscribe like <laughs> thank you for watching this video <laughs>